In this brief video, we're going to talk about the difference between what are called linear and non-linear systems. So these words are banded about a lot, and uh, it's worth talking about what's the difference between the two. Now, for a system to obey, uh, for a system to be linear, it has to obey two properties. The first property is what's called additivity. We'll go into these in a moment. The second property is called homogeneity, or simply scaling. So to give you an idea what these two things mean, let's um, look at a very simple equation, y equals ax. And I think we all agree that this is a linear equation, but why is it a linear equation? In order for this to be a linear equation, it has to obey both these uh, has to f have these both these properties. So what do we mean by additivity? Well, additivity means if I would apply two separate inputs to this equation, two separate x values, and recorded the two outputs, and then recorded the sum of the inputs and recorded the output, if the two outputs are the same, then uh, I can say this system obeys additivity. So I'll explain that more, f uh, more fully. Let me show you this. So first of all, um, I'm going to apply x1 as an input, that'll give me y1. Then I'm going to apply a second input, x2, that gives me y2. Right? So that's my first. That's the first thing I do. I then apply x1 plus x2 simultaneously. In this case, I then get uh, y3. So in this case, I apply x1 and x2 simultaneously. And the question is, what's the relationship between y3 and y1 and y2. Well, if I multiply this out, I find that y3, of course, is ax1 plus ax2. And, of course, if we know what these are, these are just y1 plus y2. So the combination of the two inputs is actually just the combination of the two outputs separately. And this is what's called additivity. All I'm getting is the sum of the, is, is a summation. Okay. Now what about homogeneity? Homogeneity in this case is quite um, a trivial exercise. Um, if I take that equation again, y equals ax, what I need to do is multiply the input by some scaling factor. Right, so y1 equals a times, let's call it um, alpha. Right, so I multiply x by some scaling factor. That gives me y1. I then have to apply the scaling factor to the entire equation. So now alpha is outside, a times x, and that gives me um, y2. And I think you can see that both y1 and y2 are the same. Right? So it doesn't matter how I scale this, whether I scale the input itself or scale the entire equation, I get the same output, and this is called homogeneity. So this equation here obeys additivity and homogeneity. In other words, it is linear. This is a linear equation. All right? So linearity implies or means that separate inputs simply sum. And the output is simply the sum or maybe a weighted sum of the inputs. Okay. Now I can generalize the both rules into what's called uh, superposition. So both rules together is called super superposition, and I can summarize that in the following equation. Right, so this one uh, weights the inputs, sums the inputs, sums the weight, sums the weighted inputs and applies them to the function. If it turns out that this operation is equal to the uh, individual inputs applied separately, like so, oops, that's not very good. Applied separately, that's a B, sorry, so on, then this system's linear. If this is true, right, then it obeys both additivity and homogeneity. In other words, it obeys superposition, then the system is linear. Now, to show you that this is not such a, a trivial thing as it seems, let me show you um, a nonlinear equation. So y equals x squared. Now we probably all agree that for some reason this is a nonlinear equation. If you were to plot this, it looks curvy. It doesn't look like a straight line, so I guess it's nonlinear. 
But how can we prove that this is not linear? Well, first of all, let's um, let's look at um, scaling. That's the easy one first. So first of all, to scale um, y1, first of all, I'll scale the individual x. So I have alpha x squared. Okay, and that that is basically alpha squared x squared. Now I want to um, scale the entire equation. So alpha x squared. Now that clearly is not equal to. Let me put that in a different uh, color. That is clearly not equal to y1. So immediately, this system does not obey scaling. Okay. What about additivity? Well, let's do that then. So the first thing to do is we're going to apply two inputs. So I'm going to apply. So now we'll do additivity. So y1 equals x1 squared. That's one input I've applied. Then I apply a second input, x squared, uh, x2 squared. All right. So those are the two outputs, y1 and y2. Now let's apply them simultaneously. So y3 equals x1 plus x2 applied simultaneously. All right. So now I need to multiply that out. So I get x1 squared plus x2 squared plus plus 2x1, x2. So uh, these two terms here, let me change the color, these two terms here are clearly uh, y1 and y2, but we have this extra piece. And this extra piece is the nonlinearity. So this system doesn't obey additivity either, because we get this extra piece coming out. So we're not just getting the simple sum, we're getting a sum plus something extra. And that's the nonlinearity part. So this tells us that uh, y equals x squared is nonlinear. Right? So y equals x squared is nonlinear. Okay. Okay, and that completes the, this short video.